Kriti Gupta joins us now on set with her chart of the day, and I'm excited. I'm excited. We don't usually get you. chart of the day this early. But you get a single best chart from Tom Keen, so yes. We're, yes. We're, we're doing something similar here. Um, I want to marry the two big stories of the morning. These comments from uh, Christine Lagarde with the Snapchat earnings that we saw after the bell last night. But I want to macro it and look at the Soul Active social media index. Essentially, this is an index that includes the likes of Facebook, now Meta, Twitter, Snapchat, and also the other social media names from around the world. And what I'm really trying to get at here is to look at it from an ad spend kind of point of view, given that ad spend can be a proxy for global growth. And what you're seeing basically for our radio audience wow. is a 10 year chart where you do see some kind of, I don't want to call it a boom and bust type cycle, but certainly a boom cycle where you see these massive gains. It kind of stalls out as the economy stalls out uh, and, and it goes over it, and over again. But it comes again. back. So these are social media companies yeah. that shot up during the pandemic because we were yes. all locked down and locked in to right. Facebook and Snapchat and Twitter, et cetera. And the idea is now that we can leave the house again, we don't need to be stuck to our devices. Well, that's part of it. The other part of it is simply the fear that's baked into the market. And this is the macro part of it, because remember, a lot of this is based on ad spend. You're not going to spend money on marketing, on advertising, if you don't think the consumer is actively going to spend those dollars. And right now, that seems to be the fear that's not just in Snapchat earnings, but across the board, uh, even outside of social media. Yeah, it's a great point. And I loved Matthew Bloxham's point, which is that especially um, if these people don't have anything, if these companies don't have anything to sell because of supply chain right. problems, why would they buy ads? Yeah. All right, Kriti Gupta with the chart of the day. Thank you very much.